The last time Bargoid met Llanelli was in the Cup King's heyday of the 80s, but the Rumney Valley boys are now deservedly sharing the Welsh club top table with their visitors. We are proud to be in the Premiership. We're in awe. I'm in awe of it. Um, I just go to Premiership meetings and just sit there and you can't believe that Bargoid are there with the likes of Llanelli, Swansea and Cardiff. Let's get off to the game, man. Eh? Let's enjoy the game. With a solitary victory from their first four matches in the Premiership, the Bulls on home turf were making no secret of targeting Llanelli, who had also only registered one win in the league so far. But with a sprinkling of Wales under 20 stars, the visitors would be tough to turn over. Torrential rain before the sunshine had threatened the kickoff, and a heavy ground meant that a game of territory and possession would reap dividends. Llanelli fullback Dion Jones managing to stay on his feet long enough to get to the line. A second Llanelli try from Rodri Cole meant that Bargoid would be chasing the game in the second half. Although under the stop-start conditions, getting any points would be a challenge. A change of strip brought on a concerted effort, and they looked at one stage as if a fight back was on. Prop David Evans getting the touchdown. But it was easier to defend than attack, and a Dean Jones penalty was the only addition to the rest of the half. A defeat, but still very much early days. I think we're on a learning curve at the moment um, when we were promoted last year. I don't think we expected to do as well as we have to start it. We've um, we worked hard, but uh, Knetley got cut outfit. Um, they just a little bit better than us today, didn't they? Played the conditions, um, they fronted up, and they deserve the win in the end. We're, we're a small club. We, we've come up through the leagues, and uh, it, it is an honour for the club to be here in a way. But we have got three years, like you said. We've got a, a learning curve issue, definitely. But we're not far off it. We're not. I think year two now, I think we start pushing and then hopefully year three we can really have a good go, same as Everville done last year, so that, that, that is the plan.